The events I'm going to portray for you now, the probabilities are you've been a part of at some time or other in your lives. If up to this moment you've missed the experience, I give you my word, before you're much older, you're going through it. For purposes of locale, it simply suits my fancy to take you to the heart of the garment industry in New York, where, whether you know it or not, the two types of restaurants predominant in and about that industry are on the one hand what they call the milchike restaurant, strictly dairy dishes, and on the other hand the fleischike, strictly meat, both absolutely 100% kosher, on strictly 100% union. In fact, the waiters to walk around in the lap of it a button. That's the union button. Whenever you'll see that button, ladies and gentlemen, don't start up. If you're sitting with a customer and you're a disgusting business, if that waiter wants to give you advice for your business, don't be a dope, take it. Because if you start up with a monogamant, they're liable to give you a Mickey and a delectable dish, what they call a Kashi Banishki. And if you ever had a Mickey, a Zochen Bezach. This story I tell deals with a contractor who has a factory out of town, strictly 100% Yan Union. He works for a jobber in New York. On this jobber, he's got a girl in the office, she's got power from a tiny. So he has to come in once a week in order to settle up for the previous week's payroll. With the result, that he has to suck on that girl from 8 o'clock in the morning, till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, till he gets the check. And when he gets the check, it's short $187.36 because on the last shipment dresses, he was missing two zippers. <laughs> now, at 3 in the afternoon, he gets hungry. So he goes over to the restaurant to eat. You and I know that waiters all over the world are usually, at that hour of the day, sitting in back of the restaurant at what they choose to call a community table. Every waiter was a in the kitchen and picked out what they likes it, they sits and eats. And when a waiter asked, his old man schuldigen, other customers and rare. <laughs> you come in between 12 and 2 and you wouldn't sit by his table, he break you down. Especially if you are a big tipper at 10 center. But 3 o'clock, where for blonde <laughs> Now it's one particular waiter, he is madly in love with hot potato knishes. And if you like hot knishes, you wouldn't need them cold. Because to eat a cold knish is just like you take a bath with your socks on. <laughs> now you can imagine how much this man loves hot knishes. He had just taken the first bite of the first hot knish. That's the delight of his life. That he loves better than anything in the world. Anything. As he takes this first bite, in comes the contractor, sits down at his table. You can imagine what goes on in that waiter's heart. That dirty dog have to sit by my table. He couldn't sit by Shmulowitz. Shmulowitz is eating cold borscht. He takes the balance of the knish, he bangs on the table and says, that dirty dog. And as he approaches him, now he actually dares him to order something. Yes, sir. What'll gonna be? The customer says, after be so kindly. Bring me a nice steak. French fried potatoes, smothered with the, the waiter. You've seen these fellows, I'm sure. Philosopher of me, leave it to me, body. You ain't got with anything to worry so long I'm handling you. Pig boiled beef. Customer says, thanks very much. I'm not interested. I will be so kindly, like I told you. A nice steak, French fried potatoes, smothered with the waiter. I told you. Don't be a sh <laughs> Don't be a small. Boiled beef. Customer says, I don't want no boiled beef. Why do you make him a faces with boiled beef? Who wants boiled beef? The boss hears the excitement. Comes running. He says, what's here the ganze tum? Why do you make him a whole yarm in the restaurant? What is the excitement here? Customer says, I never see such a dirty door. Looks to me like the waiters, you, you got you also by the, 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 the toe. Says, I come in like a gentleman. I sit down. I ask him, I shall bring my steak with French fried potato with small with onions. Macht him with eggs, make him with phasers. Boil beef. He says, who wants you stinking boil beef? Oh, the boss says. Look to me, I rather like you are a wise guy. So what's the matter with my boiled beef? That's the best piece made in the market. He said, look here, buddy. To me, I don't give a rotten down what it is. I don't want it. 
just for that wise guy, you lead it to your liking. He says, I wouldn't. I don't care what you'll threaten me. He said, don't make me no trouble in my restaurant, eat it. He said, get boing with your restaurant together, I don't want it. The boss said, don't make for me a joke in front of the waiter, eat it. He says, get killed with the waiter together, I don't want it. He grabbed a knife and said, you dirty dog, would you I got to have trouble? I'll stab you. He bared his chest, he said, if I got to be a martyr for a piece of flesh, go ahead, stick me with a knife. With that, the boss turned to the waiter, he said, threw that bum out for me. He didn't come here to eat, he's only looking for an argument, that's all. 